here for another exciting edition of Walking with Louie. And hey, have you ever wondered what happens when you flush the toilet or run the sink in the kitchen or take a shower? What happens to that water? Well, it just so happens that I, Louie the dog, I'm going to take you on a tour to find out exactly where that water goes to. So let's flush and run. OK, going quick, going quick. Here we go. One, two. Whoa! Wow, look at that, everybody. I am now here at the Empire Wastewater Treatment Plant here outside of Empire. <laughs> and boy, this is such a cool place. I can hardly wait to discover all the secrets inside. And oh, look, hey, there's someone over there. I think that's the plant manager, Patricia. Oh, Patricia! Hey, Patricia! Hey, it's me, Louie the dog. How are you? Put it there. Hi, Louie. Welcome to the Empire Wastewater Treatment Plant. Very good, very good. Well, I'm very excited, Patricia, to be here because, you know, I was telling my friends on the show here that I was wondering what happens when you flush the toilet. And I guess this is the place to find out that info, right? All the water from flushing toilets, showers, uh, businesses, restaurants, all ends up at the treatment plant. Oh, funny. Now, how many millions of gallons of water do you get in here every day? We get 10 million gallons of water oh. a day at the treatment plant. That's enough to fill a football field 23 feet high in one day. My goodness, that's a lot. Now, how long has this facility been here in, uh, now it's the Empire Township, correct? Correct. And the plant has been here since 1979 when it was only 6 million gallons a day. Wow. We take 10 million gallons a day now, and we can take up to 24 million gallons a day. Cool. Now, is this the only uh, wastewater treatment facility in the Twin Cities, or are there other ones? No, we have seven other <gasps> treatment plants in the Twin City. Our biggest treatment plant, which is located in St. Paul, treats 250 million gallons a day. Wow. So where does uh, all the water come from that goes to this facility, Patricia? It comes from Lakeville, of course, Apple Valley, Farmington, and Rosemount. Cool. Well, you know the reason I'm here? I want to see how it works. I want to see how it works. I want to see how you treat the water and turn it uh, into clean stuff. Can we see that now, Patricia? Yeah. Why don't we go on a little tour? But before we go, yeah. you'll have to wear safety glasses. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> We have now moved into the Headwakes building, and uh, boy, I gotta tell you, Patricia, it reeks in here. What's going on in here? It certainly does stink in here. This is where the wastewater enters the building, and by using what we call a bar screen, we take the large solids out of the wastewater. Anything large that could get into the sewers, like sticks and rocks that might damage equipment further down downstream. Okay, well now, what happens if somebody, like a kid, puts like a toy down the toilet? Does that come down here too? It certainly does, and we would really encourage people not to put toys or anything else down the toilet. Okay, well, you know what? It's, uh, my eyes are starting to water. Can we go to the next building, please? Yes, let's do that. All right, this way. Well, we have now moved outside away from the stench inside the Hedwigs building, and we've come out here where there's a bunch of swimming pools. Patricia, can I go swimming? No, Louie, you can't go swimming. This is the part of the treatment process called primary treatment. Oh, can you say that fast three times? No, I don't think I can. Oh, can I try it? Primary treatment, primary treatment, primary treatment. <laughs> I couldn't do it either. So what does primary treatment do, Patricia? In primary treatment, we slow the water down, the wastewater down in these tanks. So what we're trying to do is we're letting the heavy solids settle to the bottom and the light material, like grease, floats to the top where, where collection arms skim them into collection boxes. Oh, and then what happens to the stuff that gets skimmed? The stuff that's collected, the solids and the scum, move into our solids processing area. Very good. Now, there's quite a few tanks here, Patricia. How many tanks do you have here? Well, we have six primary clarifiers, and at any one time, four or five of them are in service. Now, the big question is, where does all the water from these six pools go? Well, these six pools 
What comes out of that is called primary effluent. It's partially treated wastewater. It then goes into our secondary treatment process that takes out the rest of the material. Ooh, Pat, you said you didn't have a swimming pool, but look, you got a jacuzzi that goes on forever. How cool. What's taking place here, Pat? Well, it's not quite a jacuzzi. It's the next step in the treatment process. OK. Uh, our last process, primary treatment, was a physical process where we used gravity to make the heavy solids sink to the bottom of the tank to separate it from the liquid. Then the primary effluent that we talked about is coming into this process. Uh, example is, for primary treatment, if you took a cup of water and put some sand in it, where do you think the sand would end up after 15 minutes? Uh, probably on the bottom. That's right, at the bottom. That's just like one of our settling tanks does. Oh. Now, if you took a glass of water and you put a cup of sugar in it and stirred it up, what would the water look like after 15 minutes? Yeah, it probably looked the same, maybe a little cloudy, but the sugar would dissolve, right? Right, the sugar would dissolve, but there would still be sugar or pollutants in that water. Yeah. That's what we're trying to get out of in this process is the soluble pollutants. Oh. And we do that using a process called activated sludge, and it's a biological process, and we use microbacteria, which we call bugs, to use the pollutants as food, and that, that cleans up the water for us. Oh, Patricia, that is so cool. I think I wish I could have some of those bugs, but you know what? I think it's time for us to go to our next spot. Are you ready? Yeah, let's move on. Which way? Let's go this way. Here we go. You can come with me, too. Come on. Ooh, Patricia, look at the clarity of that water. That's amazing. Are we here at the pretty much the end of the process? Yep, this is the next to the last step in the process. This again are our final clarifiers, just like our primary clarifiers. We're using gravity to settle the bugs from the last tank to the bottom. And then we'll have a, a collection arm go around, collect the bugs up, and then since it takes so long to grow the bugs like we just talked about, We'll send them back, we recycle them, and reuse them again. Well, now, what's the process after this? Does this get uh, dumped back into the river, or do people come here and uh, fill it up for drinking water? Not quite yet. We, um, the next step in the process is disinfection. And what we do with disinfection is we're trying to take out the bacteria that might cause diseases. And I think you've probably heard about it in your history classes about waterborne diseases like typhoid and cholera. Oh yeah, icky stuff. Wastewater treatment is one of the key factors in keeping those diseases under control so we don't have people getting sick in this country very much. Oh, Patricia! Hey, look at all the doit. I didn't realize you guys were into farming here. When do we get to eat the vegetables? Well, we don't do the farming here, Louie. Oh. What we do is we give the solids piles to farmers to use as fertilizer. You don't really use these solids in the uh, production of human food, right? No, that's correct. The solids actually do get used on farmers' fields, and those crops actually go to feed animals. Oh, so in the beginning of the stages, when you kind of had to clarify and had everything settle, this is what's left over? Right, and some of the bugs come here too. Oh. Uh, so first they go through a stabilization process, then they go through another process to take the water out of it, and then we haul them over here with a truck. I bet recycling is a real big thing in your plant, isn't it? Yes, it's a very good thing to do is to recycle the solids back to the farmland. Cool. Well, Patricia, I want to thank you so much for taking us on a tour today, but there's one final thing I need to ask you. I'd like to compare the water when it came into the facility and when it goes out. Do you think you could do that? I can do that. Okay. This is a sample of what the water looks like coming in. We call that influent. Okay. <laughs> it's dirty. It is dirty, isn't it? Yeah. This is what the sample looks like going out, and we call this the plant effluent. Isn't Ooh. it sparkly? Yeah, let's put them together and see the difference. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, you guys do a fantastic job, and actually it's a very important job for us to stay healthy, uh, just as us humans, even though I'm a dog, and to keep the environment clean. So thank you so much for your time, Patricia, and uh, thank you so much for showing me the tour today. You, you're very welcome, Louie. Good job. I'm going to go dig in the dirt. <laughs> See you next time, folks. <laughs>